Coming up on Growing Indoors in the Eco Garden House, we're going to divide some of the romaine lettuce we had in one container and spread it among a couple of containers, as well as looking how to root a tomato plant without using water, as well as turning a hanging basket into a rosemary herb basket. All that coming up right now. Sponsored by Eco Garden House. At last, an indoor greenhouse equipped with complete easy lighting and watering systems. You can grow perfect organic produce and plants at your home all year round. Grow 24-7, 365. You now have no excuses. Welcome to Growing Indoors with the Eco Garden House. I'm Joy Baird. One way you can expand your tomatoes or get more tomatoes, as we've talked about in previous episodes, is you can propagate them by putting them in some water another way, and, and letting it root. Another way you can do that to get it to feed or create more plants or uh, a healthier plant is we've got this vine here that I'm not really sure where it actually is connected here. But what I've done here is I've taken a one of the irrigation clips that they that comes with the system and I just stretch this out and I'm going to pinch it down and I'm actually going to take some soil and put on top of that and then water it in. Now I got to I got to be careful because I got carrots here. But what will happen here is it will begin to create some uh, root follicles just like it would if it was disconnected cut cut away from the parent plant and root it. It'll actually root right there and that's another way to ex you know get more nutrients into your plant you got the the main root system and then there will be an additional root system and different vine crops actually do this as well they you'll have a uh, pumpkin that'll do this quite frequently and since tomatoes certain varieties of tomatoes are vine the indeterminate varieties of tomatoes are vines uh, plants this will work just well so that's another way to increase the amount of roots that are picking up nutrients to feed your tomato plant so now we're going to take a look and we're going to transplant some romaine over into a couple of other containers that we had started several episodes ago. So I've got some things started here in the tray here. We've got some, I've got a Jerusalem artichoke, which will grow very well in the Eco Garden House because it's a day neutral. It doesn't require a certain length or certain minimal or a less amount of light. Certain plants you grow in here, you have to kind of do your research because certain ones need short daylight, which is under a, a certain number of hours, and some need long daylight, which is above a certain number of hours. And then there's the neutral plants, which is uh, the tomatoes, which would be the equivalent to sweet corn. Uh, Jerusalem artichokes falls in that category, and that simply means regardless if you have the lights on for four hours, eight hours, or 19 hours, they're going to go ahead and fruit and do their normal growth cycle. It's not going to affect them by over amounts of day uh, of light or even under the requirements of light uh, of some plants. Then I've got some lemongrass going there. Now what our project is, we've got romaine here and we're going to transplant two of those into these, one in each one of these six inch pots here. So the best way to go about doing this, I'm going to actually you got to be somewhat gentle. I did hydrate this just to make sure that whenever you're transplanting from one container to another or any type of uh, transplant, you want the plants to be somewhat hydrated so they don't go, they don't have as much shock to endure. Uh, so I'm just going to loosen this up and some of this is going to fall out. We're going to make a mess either way. So what I'm going to do here, I kind of want the biggest ones which are going to be these two here. So uh, you're going to tear some of these roots. So I'm just going to go in here with this trowel and basically cut around the roots where I think the roots are. There we go. And you're going to hurt some of the roots, but we want to leave as much of that soil intact as possible. So now create a hole here. And we'll just set in. We want to put it the same level as it was in that container. Firm it down and then we'll water it. And if you see any damaged leaves like that one there is a little discolored, we're just going to go ahead and pinch that off 
just get rid of it and then get allow the plant to reestablish good growth. And this is a romaine, so it's going to kind of get a cone shape. And we're going to do the same with this here. Uh, move this around. All right. So let's let's see. Let's go ahead and take this one since that's the next one closest. Get in there. Uh, this one here, it's got it's going to be entangled in the roots. So I don't know what I'm. Uh, let's see what I got first here. So I've got three there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to separate. You're going to hear, you know, it's just part of the deal. You're going to tear some roots. And I'm going to take that leaf off, that leaf off. And we want to leave as much dirt there as possible or soil around the root system. All right. Now, now that those two are planted, we'll water those in. Now I've got two of these that have come out. And that leaves two in this container. And... We're going to make the executive decision just to toss these two because they're a little rough for shape and I can at least focus on four and instead of getting instead of getting six okay ones I can get rid of these two and focus on getting four really good ones and then as these here get more mature I can remove one out of here and then keep one in here. So that's one way of transplanting and that's the way we save space early on. We planted a whole bunch in one container waited for the ones, basically the strongest to survive, and then we moved them over to their own individual little uh, homes here. And that's the way uh, you can save space on the front end and then figure out what you want to tra transplant over and get into its own container. So that's romaine lettuce. So that's ready to go. We've got to water it in. And now we've got four plants that should do very well. So now that we've got the lettuce transplanted, the, the romaine lettuce, we're going to transplants, pl transplant Rosemary. Now, rosemary is a very slow-growing herb, so we went ahead and did it in the, started in the party cups, and it did. There, there's a couple of plants here. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six plants, and I really am going to put about two of the best ones in here, and that's really all I'm going to need. Rosemary can, in in certain climates, be a per, uh, be a perennial, which means it just grows and grows and grows. It kind of dies back in the winter and grows again. In the eco garden house, it will grow indefinitely, so you're going to have to control it. Just like the basil, it just goes wild because it's in the perfect environment. So <clears throat> we're just going to loosen this up, and actually, I'm going to pour the extra soil in here. I'm going to try to slide this, and that's a, you want to be very gentle. All right, you can see roots are already all the way through this. So, that's breaking apart, and that's one of the, and if it's really dry soil, it'll break apart. This is just wet enough to where it's going to hold on to the roots, but it's going to break apart as well. So I'm just needing two of the best. This one was not, a, eh, we'll leave that possibly. The two in my hand here are the two that I really want. I just want to make, well, I got three here. So, you can see the roots have really done well and then it's in a perfect climate too so that makes a tremendous difference more roots there so I might go with three out of the six here uh, we know this one I'm not happy with that one we don't need that one that one's no good okay so we've got I got okay so that is all right there they got a root system so I'm going to take and I'm actually going to divide this up in three quadrants put one there put one there put one there so you're supposed to hold on to the leaves not the stem because you can crush the stem I just kind of grab it wherever I can we'll separate these two out and now with the rosemary, this is just a regular traditional hanging pot that you get at your local garden center or find it on junk day in the, in the summer or spring when people forget to water their flowers. We brought it home, cleaned it out with hot soapy water, and now we have created an herb, a hanging herb basket. Now you can certainly do this with a larger 5, 10, 15 gallon grow bag or container and have a, a massive herb bed, a herb garden in here. So I'm going to hang this over on the side here. Or 
attempt to hang it on the side. Yeah, here we go. And then that will get plenty of light. The light will be lowered down when we get done working in here. So growing uh, herbs, it makes a great little nursery to start your plants in the containers and then divide them off and spread them around amongst your eco garden house. Thanks for joining me on Growing Indoors with the Eco Garden House. I'm Joy Baird. For more information, please visit the